Picture this. A shark so massive it could swallow a car hole. That's the Megalodon, the undisputed king of the ancient oceans. For millions of years, nothing could touch it. Or could it? While Megalodon was the apex predator, the prehistoric seas were a tough neighborhood, and even the king had rivals. So, he dared to challenge this oceanic type. Let's dive into the prehistoric predator showdown. First up, we have Liviat and Melville, a monstrous sperm whale named after the biblical sea monster and the author of Moby Dick. This wasn't your average sperm whale. Liviatin was a killer whale, armed with the largest teeth of any animal ever known, some reaching over a foot long. It was similar in size to Megalodon, and likely hunted the same prey, like large whales. Imagine a clash between these two giants, a battle of brute force and colossal bites. It would have been a true clash of titans. We have the raptorial sperm whales, a whole group of ferocious predators like Zygophysitor, also known as the killer sperm whale. While smaller than Megalodon, they were fast, agile, and hunted in packs. Think of them as the wolves of the ancient seas. A single Zygophysitor might not be a match for a full-grown Megalodon, but a coordinated pack attack? That could have been a serious problem, even for the king. They could have harassed younger Megalodons, or competed fiercely for smaller prey. And here's the surprising contender, the Great White Shark. Yes. The ancestor of today's Great Whites swam alongside the last of the Megalodons. They were smaller, faster, and more adaptable. While an adult Megalodon would have seen a Great White as a snack, the competition wasn't about head-to-head -head combat. As the climate changed and the Megalodon's primary food source, large whales began to disappear, the more versatile Great Whites thrived. They could hunt a wider variety of smaller prey, seals and dolphins. Their younger sharks were also in direct competition with juvenile megalodons for food and nursery grounds. So, while Megalodon was the heavyweight champion, it wasn't alone at the top. It faced powerful rivals like Liviaton and cunning competitors like ancient Great Whites. Ultimately, a combination of climate change, a shrinking food supply, and pressure from these other predators likely contributed to the downfall of the greatest shark that ever lived. The ocean's throne was left vacant, paving the way for a new ruler, the Great White. What do you think? Who would win in a fight between a Megalodon and a Liviathan? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the deep past, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more prehistoric battles. Thanks for watching.